<laughs> hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have such a freaking exciting tour. Check out what's behind me, the 2022 Chrysler Pacifica Plug-In Hybrid Pinnacle. This is the first plug-in minivan on the market and I have been driving it for a week as a mom with two young kids and I am going to give you a full in-depth tour. If this is your first time joining me, hey, I'm Kelly and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. I'm a mom of two and a certified child passenger safety tech. Let's get started. Okay guys, there is so much to really like break down when we're thinking about this minivan. First off, did you know that Chrysler was the first one to ever come out with the minivan back in 1983? and they have continued to bring great family-friendly minivans ever since that. I'm so excited about this plug-in hybrid for so many reasons. One, it's finally a fuel-efficient family car. I think when you're thinking about the electric vehicle movement and the hybrid movement, I felt like larger families are very much left out of that conversation because they're only coming out with these compact SUVs or these small sedans and not really giving us a lot of hybrid level and electric options. So the fact that we now have a plug-in hybrid as a minivan super excited. We'll talk more about the hybrid system in just a minute, but first let's start with the exterior. Now minivans are not known to be the most stylish, so we're going to kind of give her a pass on some exterior designs, but I do want to talk about some of the features that we find on the exterior. To start off, the Chrysler Pacifica comes standard with some amazing safety features. It's actually some of the best standard safety features in class. So no matter which trim level you're getting, you can rest assured that the crash prevention technology that is saving lives will be found on the Pacifica. Everything from blind spot to automated cruise control to backup cameras to automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection. Amazing standard safety features. Good job Chrysler for not gatekeeping it behind a higher trim level. We love to see it. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the exterior and some of the elements. This is the pinnacle. This is the highest trim level you can find. I think the styling is fine. I don't think it's the most attractive minivan out there. I, still, I do still think the Kia Carnival is a better looking minivan. But I think if you're comparing this to the Odyssey or the Sienna, I actually do like the Pacifica better out of those two. Now the Chrysler Pacifica is one of the larger minivans. So just to review, there's four minivans currently on the market. We have the Honda Odyssey, which is the biggest, the Chrysler Pacifica, which is the second largest, the Toyota Sienna, which is the third, and the Kia Carnival wrapping it at number four, AKA the smallest minivan. So this is a large minivan and we are really going to dive into both the second and the third row to show how functional it is for families. Let's move along to the rest of the side profile. Okay, so first thing you will notice is our charger. This is for the electric battery. There are two batteries in the Chrysler Pacifica and we have a range of 32 miles on just electric. Now that may sound low when comparing it to other electric vehicles, but when you're talking about other plug-in hybrids, that's actually an incredible range, especially for a vehicle of this size. So what does 32 miles of electric range really mean? It means that the vehicle will use 32 miles of pure electric. You will just be driving on the battery. And then after that 32 miles has run down, it will switch to the gas engine. When both the battery and the fuel tank, both are fully filled up or charged, you'll have 520 miles of range. I love the functionality of this hybrid system because it gives those options to families who want to be all electric but can't totally commit the option to drive all electric for maybe their small day-to-day -day commutes. Now this hybrid system is much different than the hybrid system we find in the Toyota Sienna. The Toyota Sienna is an active hybrid, so it uses both the battery and the gas engine to give you around 36 miles per gallon. The Chrysler Pacifica works as an electric car first, and then it works as an internal combustion car. Okay. Let's move along to the rest of the side profile. Okay, you'll see on the rest of the profile, we have a lot of chrome elements found on the pinnacle. One thing I think Chrysler does really well is how nicely they hide the track for the sliding door. They put it into the window so you don't have something into the body of the vehicle. I think that looks incredible. We have the upgraded 18 inch wheels found on the pinnacle trim level, and then we'll move back and then we'll move along to her back end. Back end is kept very simple back here. We do have a little bit of a light bar that's going all the way across. Then we have our hybrid badging and our Pacifica badging down there as well. Now there's a few more things about the hybrid that is different than the other Pacificas. A couple of things are different. Number one, and probably the most heartbreaking, you can't get all wheel drive. I was so excited to finally see the Pacifica become available in all wheel drive. Unfortunately on the hybrid system, you're not able to get the all wheel drive. You're also not able to get the stow and go seatings when you get the hybrid. Stow and go seating is one of the best features about a Chrysler Pacifica and it's actually patented by Chrysler so the other minivans can't even do it. And it's not on the hybrid, which is a bummer. It's because the battery has to go into the floorboards instead, but it still makes me mad. And then finally, you're also not able to get a bench seat if you get the hybrid. So basically what I'm telling you, is I have a front wheel drive, no stow and go captain's chairs, Chrysler Pacifica Pinnacle Hybrid to show you. Okay, here's a shot of me in the driver's seat of the 2022 Chrysler Pacifica. Let's talk about the door panel. Now this orange leather is a lot to take in. It's picking up just as orange in person as it is on camera and I'm, I'm not really a fan. And then they meet it with this like outdated 
like wood trim that looks like it could be found on like my grandfather's boat. I don't like the interior color on this specific one. It's not for me. I prefer to keep it a little simple. Okay, let's start by breaking down some of the features in the driver's seat of this Chrysler Pacifica. Let's start by taking a look at our gauge cluster. So they keep it nice and simple, but we do have some good information about our fuel economy as well as our hybrid range. If you look right here, I've used all the electric mileage, so I'm down to zero. But just so you know, if you're, if you're using a home charger, it, it takes 13 kilowatts to fully charge the Pacifica hybrid battery, which using the national average of electricity rate comes out to about 14 cents a kilowatt, AKA about $1.82 to fully charge the battery. Okay, now let's move into our display. So the Chrysler Pacifica display is actually incredibly user-friendly and I've had no trouble with it. It has a lot of great features. We have the Android Auto, the Apple CarPlay, we have built-in navigation, and we even have a fan cam. And you can even select the seat to see whatever seat more closely. Talk about family-friendly. That's pretty freaking cool. I love that all of our climate control is so nicely pulled out of this display so you can easily do things like just turn on and off the air. I mean, I'm telling you, the more I get into like these high-end cars and the more they bury the, bury the climate control in the display, the more I appreciate just some real life buttons, I'm telling you. This is fun in this old like little rotary dial for our gear selector, not too bad. And then we move down here. Now in this 22 Pinnacle, this bridge is a little bit different than some of the other ones we find. In the Chrysler Pacifica, the other ones have a little bit of a break here. I don't actually like this bridge as much as the other one, but I'm gonna learn to deal with it. We do have a wireless charger and we have USB-Cs. The Chrysler Pacifica is the first minivan to offer USB-Cs, which are fast charging, which you, if you have not gotten on the USB-C train and your phone is also always dead, you need to wake up and get on it, trust me. Two cup holders right here, nice size cup holders. I mean, they fit my giant Stanley Cup, great. And then we move into our center console. Honestly, a little small. A little small for a minivan. That's so gross. We have our hairbrush in there. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we do have a little bit of additional storage underneath the bridge right here. I like to call this like a little purse holder, a little, you know, catch-all type area. And then we do have some additional storage back here, which I will show you in a second. But overall, that's kind of the storage space up here. It's good. It's not the best. You know me, like I like four cup holders in reach. I like a little bit bigger of a center console. I like a few more cubby spaces up here. So for a minivan, I feel like I should have a few more places to put my things. Now, one more incredibly exciting thing about a minivan is, of course, the sliding doors, which we will talk more about when we get to the second row, but I love that you can open and close the sliding doors from right here. All you have to do is hit this button and the doors slide right open. I mean, talk about grade school drop-off. Slide right open and, oh, you know they can close from here too, right? 10 out of 10. So pillows can be found in the pinnacle. Just something to talk about. Um, okay, here I am in the second row of the Chrysler Pacifica, living pretty large, I'm not gonna lie to you. We love ceiling vents, love ceiling vents, especially for kids in car seats. I mean, this is a prime example. This child's getting ventilation. When minivans or SUVs put them on the back of the center console or on the door panel right here, rear-facing kids don't get no ventilation. I love minivans. We'll also find our climate control up here, which I think is helpful as well. Now, one of the most exciting things about the Chrysler are these screens. Now, instead of them like protruding and being built like this, they fold down and fold up, taking up less room, but then they're easy to use when you need them. It gets freaking better. Look at this. It's a fire TV. Like, it's Fire TV. Each one has its own little cute remote, and then it like has the apps that your kids probably already know how to use. We've got the Hulu, we've got the Netflix, we've got Amazon Prime right freaking here. That is so exciting. The only thing, does anyone else wish they would start putting them back on top of here? Because like, what are these poor third row kids supposed to do? I miss when they used to put them right up here, but now they all wanna give us panoramic sunroofs, and I'd like to live in a world where somehow they can figure out how to give me both. Anyone else? Okay, some other of my amenities back here. This is kind of a cool feature as well. You can actually move this seat up just by pressing a button found on the back of the door right here. So I think this is also a great feature for if you had maybe a car seat in here or just wanted to give this person a little bit more leg room, you just push that forward and you have some more room. Pretty comfy. On the back of our center console right here, we have a little bit of a cubby, and then we have cup holders and then some additional storage right here. So that's awesome. That's some incredible storage space. Just not very easy for the uh, driver to access. That's kind of my only gripe with that. Also note that the second row seats are on track, so you can move forward or backward to accommodate more leg room for the third row if needed. Okay, let's break down the car seat setup and then I'm gonna show you some of the spacing. 
So in the Chrysler Pacifica Pinnacle, the one that I'm doing with the captain's chairs, here's the breakdown. I have four sets of lower anchors and four tether anchors. Both captain's chairs have their own lower anchor and tether anchor. Now the third row gets a little bit more complicated. So behind the passenger seat in the third row, I have a seat that has its own set of lower anchors and its own tether anchor. On the other side of the bench of the third row, I have lower anchors that are split in between the two seats, as well as a tether anchor that's split between the two seats as well. We will talk more about that when we get back there. Let me give you an idea of the spacing with a rear facing car seat set for a tall driver. Okay, so this is a Kleck Foomp installed rear facing. I have the seat in front of it set for myself at about six feet tall. And as you can see, I still have some great clearance to work with. So again, no stow and go seats are found here, but I wanna show you what the third row access looks like when you don't have a car seat here. When you have a car seat installed, there's no good way to access the third row. Obviously with the caption chairs, you could just kind of shimmy around the seat, but if you're looking for a little bit more room, you start by pulling this lever up. It's a little clunky guys, I'm not gonna lie. And then you can fold that forward as well. And now that's the access I'm dealing with. It's okay. I want the stow and go, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, here is a shot of me in the third row of the Chrysler Pacifica next to a Kleck Foomp installed forward facing. The Pacifica is one of the most, has some of the most controversial headrests found in the auto industry. If you can look at this headrest behind me, one, it's not removable, and two, it protrudes forward. It makes it very difficult to install certain forward-facing car seats in the third row. And I wanna be clear, not every forward-facing car seat will install securely. I know from experience that the Kleck Fooms are some of the easiest to get a great installation in a vehicle like this, so that's why I've chose to use these car seats in my tour. So unfortunately, I don't have like a list of every car seat that works there because that would require me to try out every car seat on the market, but what I can tell you is the Kleck Fooms installed forward-facing get a good installation even with the Chrysler Pacifica crazy headrest. And Chrysler, if you're listening, make the headrest removable, babe. It cannot be that difficult. Just listen to what we're saying. Just a little bit more about the car seat setup because I'm gonna be honest, for a minivan, the third row is pretty abysmal if I'm being fully transparent with you. So anyway, I feel good about this seat. This is fine, this works. The lower anchors, one, are not only poorly marked and difficult to find, they split them in the middle of these seats right here. They do this because this seat right here is much smaller than this seat. So it's not, it's called the 60-40 bench. So this is 40% of the seat. These two seats equal 60% of the bench. So that means that this seat is smaller than this seat. So if you have a forward-facing car seat to install back here, I would recommend putting it behind the passenger seat because this one is so much smaller. Not to mention, these are my lower anchors. So if you do install a car seat here with the lower anchors, you lose two seats entirely. Not to mention this seat is also incredibly narrow, which it will make it more difficult to install forward facing car seats back here. Rear facing car seats, you could install back here as well. Um, it would just depend on how much room you need in the second row. So that's a little bit about the car seat setup. So I highly suggest contacting a certified child passenger safety tech in your area to go over your specific car seat setup. But I just wanted to show you a few things that would work and just my initial thoughts. Okay, some more of my amenities back here. Well, first of all, I can't believe I completely forgot to tell you that the second row does have built-in sunshades as well does the third row as well. This is so freaking cute. That is darling. I have a cup holder back here and I have ceiling vents in the third row as well, which is absolutely incredible for ventilation. Um, on this side, I have two cup holders, a USB and a USB-C, obviously with sunshades and ceiling vents as well. We've got our little camera here for the fam cam. So overall, it's a comfortable third row. I mean, this is with this seat not pushed all the way forward and I still have plenty of space. Like I could easily drive back here for a few hour long road trip if I'm being honest. So we love to see that. Let's check out the trunk space and then I'll show you how the stow and go seatings work in the third row. Okay, let's look at this trunk space. So with the third row up, you can fit a full size of a Vista stroller and like, easily like this is like the worst way i could fit it you could also do this and like then have plenty of room for groceries i love how deep minivan trunks are and honestly like i'm no car engineer but i don't understand why some of the suvs can't just have slightly deeper trunks as well it's not always about the width sometimes we like a little bit of depth so i love how easily a stroller can fit here this can fit stroller wagons easily obviously plenty of groceries a costco haul anything that you may need so I want to show you the stow and go seating. So if you were to get a regular Pacifica, the seats would work very similarly in the second row. I love the stow, I love the stow and go seating of the second row of the Pacifica because it allows for such versatility and good third row access. I mean, I have some families who will literally put down one side of the second row and just use like this seat and this seat for their children and just have like a lot of great cabin space. Possibilities are truly endless. But let me show you how it works. First, you gotta follow the directions. You pull one, puts the headrest down. You pull two, slides right in. Slides right in. Look at that. I mean, that's a freaking truck bed. Now you have a truck bed. 
now you have a truck bed. She's so versatile like that. Super easy just to throw back up. I mean in seconds. In seconds and you're good to go. Something unique I like about Chrysler's products is they actually put the button for the power tailgate on the side instead of on the top of the trunk. So obviously I'm a taller person, so I never have that bother me, but I think for shorter people, this is actually super helpful. So now you can just hit this button and the trunk will power close. So thank you guys so much for watching my tour of the 2022 Chrysler Pacifica Pinnacle. Okay guys, so that will wrap up. I'm, I lost it. I know can you do it? So thank you guys so much for watching my video on the Chrysler Pacifical Pinnacle Hybrid. I so enjoy touring this car for you and I'll talk to you next time. Literally sounds just like